First, the bad news. SAP Business AI won't generate amusing holiday cards, but it will personalize career paths for your people and let you know which suppliers are best so you can be ready for the next opportunity. Revolutionary technology, real world results. That's SAP Business AI. This episode is brought to you by Pluralsight. Your org needs teams skilled in tomorrow's tech today. Whether you want faster innovation, better customer experiences, or streamlined software delivery, those solutions require teams skilled and savvy in the latest technologies. Equip your people with the skills they need to make the most of today's tools and tech. Visit Pluralsight.com slash pod and try it for free. You're listening to the Food Heals Podcast. Warning, side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, developing a more positive outlook on life, an increase in sexual activity, feelings of joy, cravings for kale and quinoa, and a spike in Tinder matches. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to put down the Ben and Jerry's, get off the couch, and take a walk outside. If you experience any of these symptoms, tell your Facebook friends immediately. All right, welcome, Food Heals Nation. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allison Melody. What are the effects of EMF frequencies, cell phones, Wi-Fi, and smart devices on our bodies? Are wearable technologies such as smartwatches, fitness trackers, and smart rings actually helping us or harming us? My guest today is here to answer these questions and more. Justin Franson is not your average coach. He's an athleticism performance coach and founder of athleticism.com and emfrocks.com. With over 25 years experience, Justin has worked extensively with athletes in a wide range of sports, and he's known for his expertise in nerve work for sports performance and his ability to treat concussions swiftly and effectively. Justin recognizes that everything in our world has a resonance and he harnesses the power of light and sound and frequency and vibration to facilitate healing and to boost athletic performance. About 10 years ago, he noticed that many of his patients were experiencing body breakdowns and negative side effects due to their wearable technology, things like smartwatches. So he went on a quest to discover a natural solution, one inspired by the wisdom of nature. The result of his journey was these EMF rocks grounding bags, which we're going to talk about today, which you can find over at emfrocks.com slash food heals nation. And they feature magnetic Tesla crystals to counteract the effects of these EMFs of this wearable technology. And they are literally the antidote to our modern day technology related health issues. And what makes these EMF rocks grounding bags stand out are three things. They repel EMFs, they ground you, and they actually recharge your body. It's like capturing the healing pulse of the earth in a bag. The result is deeper sleep, more energy, and a healthier body overall that's able to fight off the effects of EMFs. So let's learn everything we can from Justin today. This was such a great episode. I split it into two parts. So let's roll part one of my interview with Justin. Roll it, Roxy. The Food Heals Podcast starts now. He is an athleticism performance coach and founder of athleticism.com and emfrocks.com. Please welcome Justin Franson to the show. Welcome, Justin. Allie, thank you for having me on. I'm so glad to have you. We have so much to talk about, especially because you don't know this, but this is something that everyone asks me about. And I have my opinions, but I'm not like the person who knows how to back it up. So that's why you're going to be the show that I'm going to send everyone to when they ask me questions about things like EMFs. But let's um, go back for a second. Can you talk about about 10 years ago, you were treating your patients and you found that these athletes that you were treating were breaking down from this wearable technology. Can you explain what you discovered and then how you began helping people recover and heal from this EMF exposure? Definitely, Ali. So about a decade ago, I was at a Scripps clinic in La Jolla working with professional athletes and doing nerve work for sports performance. So I started athleticism.com 25 years ago there. And wow. I, I saw athletes breaking down from wearable technology. 
And one of the strongest, fittest endurance athletes that came through the program had a smartwatch on. And uh -huh. his whole arm went weak and he had pain right at about his wrist area. And I said, hey, why don't you just take that radiation off your wrist and see if the pain goes away? And of course it did. And then his arm function started to restore shortly after. So wow, that was about the aha moment where I just was like, I got to dive into this and understand the difference between native EMFs and the non-native ones, all the man-made ones, and you know, why and how it affects us. Yeah, this is literally why I won't wear an Apple Watch. So, I mean, thank you for validating that for me because I want to learn more about this. And I'm also interested in our cell phones and all of these other wearable technologies that, you know, this was starting, you were starting to understand this 10 years ago, and now it's probably getting worse. Can you tell us a little bit about what you discovered, what's going on now, and how we can protect ourselves? Yeah, it, it, this is just such a loaded topic, Allie, and you're so right. Your intuition's so spot on. Not wanting a man-made radiation directly on you 24-7. And... I saw this years ago. I was the last guy to get a cell phone. I took an internship in college at a real estate firm, and they stuck me around a copy machine, and that's I was pulling paper off it, and my fingers were burned. And Whoa. it was an x-ray. That's an x-ray machine. So I was oh my getting God. You know, ionized radiation on my fingertips. And I, you know, I didn't think anything of it. It's 30 some years ago. And I'm like, okay, you know, I I'm just Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot paper. My fingers burn. Well, now, 30 years later, I have nerve pain when I touch a touch screen. Uh, and oh, no. So I have to use a stylus. So I, I've had a few learning experiences you know, over the last several decades that also coupled with the information from the athlete that I saw. And just diving into it, I started to research EMFs and what's around us and how they affect us. And what I learned, Ali, is that we are one with our universe and our universe is made on electromagnetic resonances and they're native resonances and they're unpolarized. They're waveforms that distribute equally in every direction. So every living being has a resonance and it's not in a straight line and just as if you would drop a pebble in a pond does the splash the waves of the pond go in a straight line to the right or left or up or down no no it's way a ripple. it's a circular resonance it goes out equally in every direction and okay putting this all together those are called scalar waves and they're waves that are the framework for every waveform and every resonance and they're unpolarized and they so they distribute equally in every direction so if you the sun's out and you hold your hand up you're still going to see light underneath your hand like literally unpolarized waveforms distributing equally in every direction so okay on the contrary all the non-native emfs man-made ones they're all one directional wave forms or they don't work so electricity is AC you know, with the returning DC alternating currents and direct currents are one directional waves. Okay. Cell phone, the cell towers, they have panels facing every direction, right, Allie? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's because they're one directional waves. They're broadcasting. They have to go in this section and then this section and this section. And they can okay. bury them now about 20 degrees down or so, 25, maybe 30, the max down and up. But they're pretty much straight lines and they can't bury that much. So that's the difference. And the, the more watts they use, the more electricity they use, the more of the grid they use that they're trying to reduce the usage of, the, the more they can bend them and get them through buildings and bend them around buildings. But uh, that's uh, a different topic right now that I'll get into later, maybe. But I'm like, an, I'm picturing like a science fiction movie looking at all this. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's crazy. I mean, if we literally could see these invisible stressors 
it would look like laser beams everywhere, pretty much. Wow. And yeah, that's scary. So anyhow, that's the that's the difference. And the sun, you know, they're unpolarized waveforms, and uh, all the man-made, whether it's electricity, dirty electricity, which is really a lot of static in the line, or the wireless signals, which are a faster waveform, they're all one directional. And our bodies don't do well at all with one directional waveforms, whether it's native, whether, excuse me, whether it's low level EMFs or, uh, or a higher level or a faster speed length. Okay. And I think one of the things is that people will argue for the safety because they're like, everything's okay in trace amounts. It's the same when we talk about food and nutrition and the, and the things that we're exposed to in the environment. Well, it's okay because it's all trace amounts. There's no trace amounts when everything we touch is now full of toxins or the paint off the wall is full of toxins, right? And now we're talking about EMFs. Well, we have all of this technology in our lives every day that never existed before from the copy machine to the cell phone to, I have an iPad right here. I have a computer in front of me. I've got my monitor. I've got my microphone. Like what is going on in my household right now that wasn't ever happening before, right? So there's no trace amounts of technology of these EMFs in my life at this moment, right? Right. And you're so similar to a majority of the population that especially if they're working or going to school, it's really challenging to live in this day and age. And we have to really go back and answer the question, what is our environment? And the answer is really it's everything around us, but I'm going to hone in. Let me hone in on the atmosphere or the air that we're not okay. supposed to see. We only see it in LA where we, both of us used to live and yeah. you know, in a polluted city. But now these invisible waveforms, they travel through this air. So we're getting pollution even in, in a cleaner air environment. And the reason is, is because our air is made up of ether or plasma and waves and particles travel through that plasma. That's how we're able to communicate. You're in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm in uh, Orange County, Southern California. It's mm -hmm. all through these waveforms communicating you know, through our atmosphere. And so that's really how it works. And then our bodies really get charged. We get the negative charge from the earth. We get the positive from the sun. We breathe in the minerals. Hopefully we get it from our food because food heals, right? And Food heals, yes. Thanks for the shout out. <laughs> and uh, then we'll drink the water for the conductivity and also some minerals as well. And that's kind of how our body battery works. So we do okay. really well when we're connected with nature and we're grounded by nature. And when we're inundated with one directional waveforms, everything changes. And to kind of second what you said there's a book called The Invisible Rainbow by Arthur okay. Furstenberg, and it categorizes the history of electricity and life. Have you read this one or heard about it? Um, no, but I'm about to add it to my Audible. Thank you. Go on. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely the biggest game changer book you'll ever read. And he talks about the shifts in our electromagnetic blanket of an atmosphere from before 1889 when we introduced electricity into the homes. And, okay. and then he, he basically documents every major pandemic and directly correlates them to shifts in our electromagnetic blanket of an atmosphere, whether they were cosmic from solar flares or atmospheric pressure shifts before 1889 when electricity hit the homes and mm -hmm. then after from radio waves or radar or even wireless rollouts so the flu even this point the flu was named the flu because it would fly in and fly out with solar flares what this is i've never heard this before <laughs> so that's why it got named the flu is because when our, we have atmospheric pressure shifts, we get REM patterns shift, 
And these waves and particles mess with our, our body, our electromagnetic field in our body. And we adapt to it. And people adapt when they need to at the level they're capable. That's why you see a lot of people get sick in those periods of time, especially before 1889. Then after we introduced electricity in the homes, the flu was here to stay. Now, let me get to 1918. That was the Spanish flu. That was the first time we ever rolled out radio waves across the entire okay. world. And then satellites were launched in the Van Allen belt, a protective layer in our atmosphere. And that was correlated with the Hong Kong flu. And then World War II, we rolled out radar for the first time ever on a broad spectrum across most of the world. And then obviously the last several years, 5G. So to me, Ali, there's no scratch in your head on the correlation between environmental toxins, especially with electromagnetic fields and our bodies adapting to them. So electromagnetic frequencies or fields is what we're talking about, this EMF exposure. And so here you are and you're helping people because that's what you do, right? You're helping athletes and all of a sudden you discover that this is happening. So what are the negative effects on our body? We talked about flu. We talked about his mobility issue with his hand based on what was happening uh, with the Apple watch. But what are some of the effects on humans that we're seeing that you're seeing regularly? And what are the ways that we can counteract them? Like me, like, you know, I talk on the phone on the right side. So I've had to make a conscious effort of putting my phone on speakerphone or using a pop phone, which I used to have with the old plugs, but the new plug, it didn't support when they changed the plugs on the iPhone. So I didn't have to put it up right next to my face. So what are some things I know what we should do is keep these not next to our heads because I don't want to see brain tumors in my lifetime. I don't know about you, but that's one of my goals, right? Not to have brain tumors, but what are some of the things that you're seeing and what are in terms of the effects and what are some of the things we can do to counteract these effects? Definitely. And the, Biggest thing I think out of the gates right now that most people will see is lack of sleep and our grounding bags are really coming into play with that. Uh, in addition to that, cognitive challenges are pretty much all of level one stressors. Lack of focus, memory, anxiety, fatigue, stress, headaches ringing in the ears, <laughs> uh, bloody noses, muscle twitching will be more in the level two, rashes on the skin. Uh, seizures, and then you go into the bigs, cancer, suicide, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, and lack of fertility. Uh, the reason these things occur is because a, a scientist named Dr. Martin Paul out of Washington State University found that the voltage-gated calcium channels open up and let positive calcium into a negative cell. This in turn causes cell and DNA damage. It's an oxidative stress for the body. So let's break down this word. It sounds like a big word, voltage gated. Well, that's the gateway for the mitochondria function of your cells to get energy. And mm -hmm. when it doesn't get energy and it gets excess calcium, it's disruptive and it disrupts our energy. So right out of the gates, we know that it's a mitochondria challenge with the body from Dr. Martin Paul's work. These are actual science, science, you know, proven studies uh, that showcase this. Bioinitiative.org did thousands of studies with hundreds of scientists from multiple countries and found what are safe levels and what isn't safe levels, but they correlate you know, our findings. Our own California Department of Public Health uh, about eight years ago hid findings uh, and a Berkeley professor sued them and to said, hey, just release some of your findings and he won. And so now they had some of the results, acoustic nerve challenges and cancer in the inner ear and they've taken that down and they put a PDF on it and, and they kind of dummied it down and said, hey, you know, 
let's not put the phone next to our ear. <laughs> this could cause right, this, right. this. So they've dumbing it down with some uh, basically superficial flyer. But there's studies out there. Our government's known about this for years. In 1996, they established procedural levels of what's ionizing versus non-ionizing and Ionizing means it causes a thermal effect, like a, and it heats it up like a microwave does. And they're like, oh, if it's non-ionizing, there's no temperature increase, then it's okay for you. But we know from Dr. Martin Paul's work that that's not true. And we know that the closer you have to these, there's more absorption and the more it affects us. And even with low level to the faster speed forms, uh, wave waveforms, that they're still still disruptive. So we know all the stuff, but yet they won't change these findings. And it's just been proven over and over again. And the way we can really read these is through meters. You just go and buy a meter, and these meters are designed to measure the speed of these waveforms. So that's why you can get a meter and say, oh, what's my milligauss? How good is the wire in my house? Oh, the magnetic resonance. Oh, it's it's seven. Wow, that's way too high. Bioinitiative.org said it should be one or below. So, oh, dirty electricity. Let me plug this Stetzer electric meter in the wall, stetzerelectric.com. It's about 130 bucks or something. And it'll tell you mm -hmm. the amps to volts and the static in the line. It should measure 4,000 to 100,000 waves per second. And every home with solar that I've measured is in the 1500 range, like over a thousand range, it should be 50 or below on what the meter reads. Oh, so wow. solar is not good for us. And then, the oh, wireless, no. <laughs> yeah, and I'll get to that in a little bit, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, tell me more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then the, then the, uh, wireless signals, yeah, the acoustometer is like a one directional meter I have, which I love. You can get a tri-field or a cornet or, uh, so there's, there's a lot of great meters out there. Uh, but that should be in the low levels as well, like 50 microwatts per meter squared. It should read 50 on the meter. And it's these things, they meter out when you point it out a cell phone. So we know that there's not even a meter to meter the level of stressors that only our cell phone emits. So how in the world are we able to trust what a cell company will do with a cell tower right outside of a school or a home or a residence? <laughs> Food Heals Nation, this week I'm headed to LA, then Vegas, and I've been thinking about how to protect myself from all of these EMFs, these electronic waves and radiation, especially when I'm traveling. Because when we're traveling, especially on an airplane, not only are we exposed to Wi Fi routers, everyone's cell phones, everyone's Bluetooth headphones and technology, there's also the actual radiation from the plane and those body scanners at TSA. These these are just added stressors that I want to mitigate. And of course, I'm so excited about my trip. I love traveling. It's not going to stop me, but I want to make sure that I'm not slowed down by the side effects of EMFs like fatigue and headaches or trouble sleeping, which are caused by these EMFs, right? So here's my plan. I will be drinking my Organifi red juice. It comes in a packet where I can just take it. You know, there's no liquids allowed, but I can take the package the package of powder, and I can get a water and I just mix it right on the plane. I can take it with me anywhere. Why the Organifi Red Juice? Well, it's packed with antioxidants, which can help combat the oxidative stress caused by these electromagnetic fields. How cool is that? The Organifi Red Juice has real berries, powerful adaptogens. It's caffeine free, but it still gives you energy. And it's just a really convenient way to stay on top of my health and help kind of mitigate the side effects of these EMFs, even when I'm exploring, when I'm on planes, trains, automobiles, airports, all of the things. Now, you know, you can get 20% off your order of Organifi Red Juice, Organifi Green Juice, Organifi Gold, Organifi Glow, all the things. It's all over at OrganifiShop.com slash 
food heals. And I'll definitely be taking all my travel packs with me. I kind of geek out when I'm on the plane and I'm taking all my elixirs, all my potions and all my nutrition, and I'm getting super healthy while I'm on the plane. It just makes me feel good. It just makes me feel like I'm doing something great for my body so that it doesn't get run down by travel, by EMFs. So again, you can go shop right now for my favorites like the Organifi Red Juice over at OrganifiShop.com slash Food Heals. You know what else is coming with me on the plane, on my trip that's going to help me day to night, improve my health, improve my sleep, improve my energy? It's the Rise Aura and Zen, my favorite vegan products from Cured Nutrition. Cured Nutrition's products include CBD, cannabidiol, and it's a naturally occurring cannabinoid found in the hemp plant. And you're probably more familiar with THC, which is kind of CBD's relative, but CBD has no psychoactive effects. It will not like make you high or anything like that, but it does have so many health benefits that I've experienced on a regular basis. For people like me, for people like you who like vegan sources of nutrition and CBD, Cured has introduced your daily dose which is functional mushrooms and adaptogenic nootropics to create a herbal trinity. The herbal trinity, of course, is Rise, Aura, and Zen. Rise is my morning boost. It's got CBD, lion's mane, cordyceps, ginseng, and rhodiola, and it's vegan and gluten-free, and that's how I start my morning. Then in the afternoon, I'll move on to Aura, and that is great for the gut, improving your immune system, and overall supporting your digestive health. It's got vitamin D3 and zinc and CBD and ginger root and turmeric and turkey tail and organ grape root. And of course, it's also vegan and gluten-free. Then to help me wind down after a long day, I go to my Zen. Zen is to help relieve from stress and increase your relaxation. It's got CBD, ashwagandha, chamomile, magnesium, reishi, skullcap, and valerian. Get 20% off your Aura, Rise, and Zen and anything else over at curednutrition.com slash foodheals. That's where to go to save 20% off your order. Of course, all the products are cruelty-free, non-GMO, made with high-quality ingredients. That's why I love Cured. Again, save 20% at curednutrition.com slash foodheals. Foodheals Nation, if you're like me, you know that drinking enough water is imperative for our hydration and our detox. And I personally try to drink half my body weight in ounces of water per day. But have you thought about the quality of water that you are drinking? So according to the Environmental Working Group, virtually every home in the U.S. has harmful contaminants in its tap water. So ditch the tap water, ditch the cheap water filters, and check out my favorite water purifier company, AquaTrue. You can visit AquaTrue.com, use the coupon code FOODHEALS for 20% off any AquaTrue purifier. AquaTrue purifiers use a four-stage reverse osmosis purification process, and their countertop purifiers work with no insulation, no plumbing. I set it up myself, don't worry, it's easy. It removes 15 times more contaminants than ordinary pitcher filters and are specifically designed to combat chemicals like PFAs in our water supply. The filters are affordable and long lasting, no changing filters every two to three months. AquaTrue filters last from six months up to two years. AquaTrue comes with a 30 day money back guarantee and even makes a great gift. Today, my listeners will receive 20% off any AquaTrue purifier. Just go to AquaTrue.com, that's A Q U A T R U.com, and enter the code FOODHEALS at checkout. That's 20% off any AquaTrue water purifier when you go to AquaTrue.com and use code FOODHEALS. So you briefly mentioned, I want to get into this, the EMF rocks grounding bags as a way to counteract these effects. Um, What are some things, what is that? And what are some things that we can do if we're just like, I don't know what to do, but I want to do something. Yeah. The, the biggest thing really is to understand where the stressors are. So everyone gets some meters identify the stressors obviously it's not rocket science like if your bed's touching the wall it's charged to the level of your outlet so you got to clear your bed you got to clear your desk because you know you have all the electricity on it 
if your head in your bed or your child's bed or a family member or so and so is on and on the other side of a smart meter, an automated gas and electric meter, you got to move the bed or put EMF tint blocking tint or paint on that wall. So identify it and and then establish proximity protocols like you were talking about hardwire your phone or your computers my computer's hardwired throw your phone in, in Faraday bags we have great ones that lower the signal strength down when you're not using them and turn your phones off at night put them on airplane mode as well uh, and and turn your Wi-Fi off at night when you're not using it turn the electricity off in your bedroom at night when you're not using it and then so that's that's the next step and then the following step is Okay, once we've done that, any extraneous resonance that's not enhancing, that's a man-made one, let's ground it out through EMF rocks and our grounding bags. And literally, we've hand-mined crystals, and we put them in a bag, literally, and they're called a grounding bag. We sell them through doctor clinics all around the country. Your deep sleep will improve anywhere from 3 to 60%, depending on how disruptive you are. Dr. Rodney... White out of Nebraska did a several months ago. He just did a sleep test, third party independent, for two months straight. His deep sleep improved 60%. That's not anecdotal. Yeah. So, yeah. Dr. Bear Lando did a waveform test on it mm -hmm. and he measures your chi or any distortion in your chi because Bruce Lipton will say your health lies in your chi. Yeah. And then the chemistry, you can't have chemistry biology without you know the chi. And so Dr. Bear has machines that test that and he tell you exactly what's going on with your health through that. And the grounding bags clinically passively treated up to 91% of the markers that were off with his patient. So we know that they work and it's literally the same as walking barefoot outside. You're bringing that resonance into your home, your desk, your car. And I want to get into electric cars too. They're not good for you at all. And I knew that one. Yes. <laughs> Tell me more. That's a big one. You need seven grounding bags behind the driver's side to clear that. Car. Because you're just sitting on a battery all day long, right? Tell me a little bit about that. So we had a colleague that was working with professional athletes doing blood work. He got hired by this military special forces to do blood work with them. He threw in a variable of guys and girls driving electric cars. The single biggest marker chain was 18% lower testosterone for guys wow. and girls driving electric cars. He could not believe it. And that's what it does. It lowers your testosterone. You're sitting on a massive battery. Again, you're using the grid that they're wanting to reduce the usage of to use that vehicle. It's just absolutely absurd in every way, shape, and form. You're using coal, cadmium, precious minerals, fossil fuels to mine the battery. So it's not a net zero on the environment. We are cooking families in them. I can't sit in the car. Colder regions get less uh, productivity out of the battery. About half is less in cold climates. Uh, firemen are getting electrocuted from electrical fires when they cut people out in jaws of life. Then we're left oh. with an acid with dead batteries after about a decade filling up our landfills with that. So there's no way, shape, or form that this is cool or going to work or going to be the next greatest thing to help with global warming. It just, it's, it's actually making the usage of fossil fuels even worse, even though you're not seeing emissions directly behind a car when you're driving it. So plus half the U.S. about is in multifamily resonances. There's no way we can even have the grid to ever roll out everyone driving electric cars. It's just absurd in every way, shape, or form. 
It is scary that some of the things that I used to believe were going to help us and help the environment, such as solar panels and solar power and um, battery powered cars and all of that, which I've now learned by talking to experts and people like you, you know, is not the way of the future, unfortunately. Do you have an opinion or thoughts or science backed evidence on what is? the future that we should be looking at when it comes to like helping ourselves heal, helping the environment and all of the things like, what is that? Yeah. I mean, hydrogen would probably be the cleanest fuel source out of everything. But right now we're, we're, we're there's very few car companies going that direction, unfortunately. And then the cars they make are just really ugly. So is there just no money behind it? Like what's the driving force? There's no one supporting this hydrogen. Yeah. There's just no money behind it. it, it there's, there's, there's huge industries backing electricity and people getting paid off to really promote it. And yeah, same as pharma, same as agriculture and big industries yep. driving, pushing it. And we, we've been corrupted in every major industry. So in agriculture, it's like, Oh, let's modify food and let's, riddle it with glyphosate and telecom oh let's have 5g and let's put let's make a computer that has a router and a massive battery and call it a laptop and put it over everyone's reproductive organs too i tell everyone who has a laptop in their lap i'm like stop i will take the laptop off of their lap i'm like do you understand what that's doing like at least please put a barrier put it on your desk just i know that laptops we have to have them i live on my laptop i'm not gonna lie but just little things like that like everyone stop putting them on top of your reproductive organs. Boys, men, stop putting your cell phone in your front pocket. Like I'm so, I'm with you, Justin, like on the parts that I understand those things, I am so passionate about. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Please continue. But I just had to say that because I see people doing this all the time. And I try to at least the little bit that I can do is say, please don't put that there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And they definitely, if they do put a Faraday bag, like we have an eight by eight Faraday bag. It'll help direct it the other way. And then. Can you say what that is? I'm not understanding what you're, what word you're saying. Faraday bag. Can you please explain that? I'm sorry. I missed that. Oh, sure. So there's a guy named Faraday he created a, like everyone knows it as an ironclad cage where zero frequencies go in and out of. Now they make bags that are, we call them Faraday bags where uh, there's full block out bags where you can, completely go off the grid. They're several hundred dollar bags. We don't sell those. We sell a, a, a very uh, inexpensive uh, version where signals go in and out of it, but it lowers it to a safe level. And so our favorite bags are like $14.99. So this is what someone like me needs who is not going to disconnect my entire life and business is very, very dependent on my laptop, my microphone, my cell phone, all the things, but I want to reduce. So it sounds like what I need is these bags that will reduce my risk and reduce my exposure. Would that be accurate? Right. And once you reduce it directly on you, then you create a coherence with it, with our grounding bags. So the game okay. we're playing is to learn how to coexist with this stuff because it's not going anywhere. Right. It's only going to get worse. People are going to try and roll out clothes that you're wearing with EMFs and more watches and everything's wearable and everything's tracked and traced. And, and so the last thing we want to do is give in to that and give our precious information away. So say no to that technology being developed and go back to the more of the analog world. And then when we're in it though, you got to get grounded by nature. So every day I'm outside, I'm barefoot, I'm touching a tree, I'm in the ocean, I'm, I'm playing beach volleyball with my, you know, barefoot uh, and uh, on it, having a picnic. You know, there's, there's so many different things. Just even touching the tree will help you ground. <clears throat> I was about to say that. I'm like, nature heals, hug a tree. As cheesy as it sounds, I get it. Be yeah. outside. I get it. Recharge outside. I'm absolutely on board with you. And then, and in terms of like, okay, you said go analog. What does that mean? It's like go wired versus wireless. Like the wireless headphones, they've proven that is destroying our brain cells. And I don't know, it may lead to cancers and brain tumors. Talk to me a little bit about that. Oh, you're so right. Well, think about it. 
there's an airway canal directly to your brain. There's no skull there. So if you're putting earbuds in your ear, you're putting antennas and or basically a, a router in your inner ear that's broadcasting and receiving. And <laughs> that's not great for a longevity. Uh, so that goes directly to your brain. There's nothing buffering it from your brain. It's an airway canal. So the last thing you want to do is have earbuds, wireless earbuds in your ear for any length of time at all. And uh, so we got to create, ex you know, these proximity protocols with it. But then if you did want to track your sleep or track something or test something, you know, I work with athletes for 25 years and we do tests. We do a test before and then maybe a midline test and after. You're not doing Before and day. after what? Before and after what? Whatever you want to test, whatever okay. you're looking to test in someone, how strong they are, how fast they are, how high they can jump, uh, you know, how many steps they took, how well they slept. Like You don't do it every night. So if you're going to use these devices, have a grounding bag on your bag or have a mini in your pocket, your purse, your backpack. So create a coherence with it, test it, and then get it off your body and use those, you know, tracking things to establish a baseline so that you know how you feel intuitively. I don't need anything to tell me where I'm at right now. I know what time it is. I know how I feel. I know how I slept. I know if I, uh, if I'm hungry, if I'm thirsty, if I, yeah, I, I just, I'm listening to my body. I'm not in the meta universe having something tell me how I feel. And I want everyone to tap into their intuition and to listen to their body, connect with God, get grounded by nature, and know how you feel. When you know where you're at, we're going to be able to stop giving technology all our information. Stop giving them your fingerprint, your palm, your retina, your biometrics, your voice, your face. The single most unique identifiers, you do not ever want to use those for commerce. we got to get out of technology using us we can use it as a tool but establish proximity protocols and get grounded by nature outside and use our grounding bags inside to sleep and recover food heals nation we know that the gut is the second brain and it is absolutely imperative to keep our gut flora healthy that's why i love just thrive probiotics this is a powerhouse probiotic. It is exceptionally potent. It's got that spore-based shell, so it doesn't die before it hits your gut. Remember, all those probiotics that you have to put in the fridge, what do you think happens to them when they hit your body at 98.7 degrees if they need to be refrigerated? Then they're going to die before they hit the gut. And that's no good for anyone. I want my probiotics alive and working for me in the gut. So get your Just Thrive probiotic. And I do like to take it with food. Studies have shown that these beneficial bacteria that are inside Just Thrive probiotic actually thrive when they're paired with a meal and make them even more effective. And with their spore-based technology, this good bacteria reaches your gut fully alive and it's got 1,000 times better survivability than other probiotics. So don't throw your money away and get your gut healed. Say goodbye to digestive issues like bloating and gas and constipation and other gut issues. Just Thrive Health probiotics are also clinically proven to address leaky gut in just 30 days days, enhancing nutrient absorption and acting as your personal antioxidant factory. It boosts your energy. It improves your sleep. It supports clear skin. And of course, it's paleo, keto, vegan, and non-GMO. You won't find any gluten or soy or dairy or sugar or salt or nuts or histamines or garbage in it either. And as always, they have a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, but I know you will be for any reason, they will refund your purchase. Save 15% off Just Thrive Probiotics over at JustThriveHealth.com. Use the coupon code FOODHEALS15 and you'll save 15% 
off your order. And if you have a kid who doesn't like swallowing pills, or maybe you just yourself, you want to try the gummies, the gummies are delicious. So you can try those as well. Again, it's all over at justthrivehealth.com. Use the discount code FOODHEALS15. You'll save 15% off your order. Well, here's a side note on that in terms of like not giving up our likeness um, to the world. But unfortunately for me, I already have as a podcaster, I was just at podcast movement in Denver. And one of the presentations was from a company who essentially says by analyzing the data of you as a podcast host, analyzing your voice, they now have the technology uh, to essentially have me say whatever I want. And they were positing this, Justin, as a good thing because what it meant was, let's say I messed up in this podcast that we're doing right now and I screwed up what I was saying and I wanted to re-say it before I published it. I could type out what it was I wanted to say instead of re-recording it and then it could insert me saying that without using my own voice. And they were touting this as if this was the greatest adventure, excuse me, invention ever. And I'm sitting there with my friends in the audience like, this is absolutely terrifying because now with this technology, somebody can take my voice and make me say anything that I want. We're seeing this on the internet right now with like the funny memes and like the Tom Cruise deep fakes. And I've seen like Joe Biden and stuff and people saying things that they didn't actually say. So they were touting this as a good thing that was great for us as podcasters. And I'm sitting back there absolutely terrified for the future where they can make me say anything I want. And there's no way for me to take my voice back at this point. It's out there. So any advice when it comes to this type of thing? Because you said like, all right, let's get back to nature. Let's not out. Let's not let these technologies see our rapid eye movement. Let's not let our these technologies know everything about us because they are shaping who we are at the same time. That's why we talk about a mattress and then we see ads for mattresses because every device in our household is listening to us. That's no longer conspiracy. That's fact. We know this, right? So tell me about what's your opinion on what can we do because our likeness is out there. Right. It is fact. They call it, they call it surveillance marketing alley and they've been doing it for, we're 20 years behind on this whole game. So wow. the, the best thing we could do is not use technology, not use a cell phone, use everything that's you know hardwired. That would be the only way to really slow it down. Uh, the other thing is to create anonymity and, and uh, become anonymous. So you can do a lot of buying products through privacy.com and getting SIM cards through Tello and getting Android phones and clearing all the CCP parts out of it and having having your SIM card become anonymous. I mean, if they could track your voice and then connect your voice to it at some point, that would they could probably do that only but they wouldn't have any idea who you are or where you were if you I created see. some uh, anonymity uh, on on everything so there was ways to use technology and especially bitwarden like create a vault establish vault and privacy passwords uh that a vault has that they can't ever get so because ai can they can pretty much Right now, they're saying they can know your password if it's just a normal password up to like 95, 6% of the time they can guess it. I believe it. Yeah. So we got to change that. We just got to get out of this tech world and us freely giving stuff to it and start to create an awareness behind it. And, and uh, definitely the proximity protocols disconnecting a little bit for sure and then uh, getting grounded. All right, Food Heals Nation, I hope you enjoyed part one of my interview with Justin. Go over to emfrocks.com slash Food Heals Nation, and you can get your EMF Rocks grounding bags. And stay tuned for the next episode, which will be part two of my interview with Justin. Again, everything's over at emfrocks.com slash Food Heals Nation. See you next time, Food Heals Nation, and cheers to your good health. When Luca's mom was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, she ran from doctor's office to doctor's office, getting more and more prescription medicine while her health just got worse, which is exactly what happened to my mom when she first had multiple sclerosis followed by cancer. Every pill introduced a new side effect and every side effect warranted a new pill. It was a vicious cycle with no healing in sight. 
In Luca's case, his mom found a different route. She found a doctor who specialized in root cause medicine. After 12 months, she completely reversed her autoimmune condition. And her son Luca began to think, why isn't all of medicine this personalized and data driven? And why doesn't everyone have access to this type of information? And that's when he created Index Health. Stories like these remind me of why I do this show, Food Heals Nation, and why I love Index Health, which you can learn more about at indexclinic.com slash foodheals. With Index Health, you get access to board-certified functional medicine trained doctors and functional trained nutritionists who use advanced lab tests to diagnose and treat chronic conditions. All treatment plans are 100% personalized, and doctor appointments are one hour long. They really take the time to deep dive into their patient's health. I only wish that something like Index Health was around when my mom was sick. To schedule your first appointment, visit indexclinic.com slash foodheals. Again, that's indexclinic.com slash foodheals. Food Heals Nation, did you know that Americans spend an average of 90% of their time indoors and take about 20,000 breaths per day? According to the EPA, indoor air is two to five times more polluted than outdoor air, and in some cases, this is scary, up to 100 times more polluted. The data shows that air pollution is responsible for nearly 7 million premature deaths globally. That's why it's so important to filter the air in our homes. You remember my story after discovering toxic mold in my home almost a year ago, I realized the importance of having multiple high quality air filters in my home to protect myself, to protect the air that I'm breathing and the air that my beagle Lily is breathing. Think about everyone in your household, your family members, your roommates, your kids, your cats, your dogs, your pets right? We have to be so conscious of the air that we're breathing inside. But that's why I'm obsessed with Air Doctor. You can visit airdoctorpro.com, use the code FOODHEALS, and you can get up to 39% off an air purifier. Air Doctor filters out 99.99% of dangerous contaminants and allergens like pollen and pet dander and dust mites and mold and even bacteria and viruses. So your lungs don't have to. It's so easy to set up. It's quiet and I can rest easy knowing I'm breathing cleaner air every day when I'm working from home. If you work from home like me, you've got to filter your air. So head on over to airdoctorpro.com, use the promo code FOODHEALS, and depending on the model you pick, you'll receive up to 39% off or up to $300 off. This is exclusive to Food Heals Nation listeners. You'll also receive a free three-year warranty on any unit, which is an additional $84 value. Check it out by going to A-I-R-D-O-C-T-O-R-P-R-O.com, airdoctorpro.com, and use promo code FOODHEALS. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, developing a more positive outlook on life. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to actually start using their $39.99 a month gym membership. If you experience any of these symptoms, Snapchat your trainer immediately.